my name is Michelle and today well we're going to conquer a bit of a fear of mine well this is a fear I conquered actually last week um, I, I've always had this fear of two different things in recipes one's using yeast I'm, I'm just so scared of making bread and things like that it just never happens for me and the other thing is egg whites um, now I've con we've done a bit of meringues and stuff like that but I've always seen recipes for souffles and just thought Oh my god, that just sounds too hard. You hear all these stories about people's souffles falling, and well, souffles are kind of meant to fall. They puff up, and then you have to eat them straight away after you take them out. And souffles are actually really easy, and quite a healthy dessert to be making as well. Um, because all they do is pretty much use egg whites, and then whatever you want to flavour it with. Today we're going to be doing a mocha spice souffle. Um, but you can do all sorts of other kinds of souffles too. You can use pureed fruit instead of the, the chocolate coffee and spices. Or you can even incorporate a banana in this instead of using some of the spices. But today we've got um, some cocoa. I'm using unsweetened cocoa. I'm also putting in some instant coffee. Some instant coffee. Some cinnamon. And because chocolate and chili go together, we're going to spice things up and just put in a little bit of chili powder as well. You'll find all the quantities in this for this recipe at the end of the episode and on the website. Okay, so to that we're just going to add one quarter of a cup of water. And we're going to take this over to the stove and we're just going to bring this up to a simmer and whisk it for about two minutes. Down to the spices. Um, just put in the cocoa and a couple of pureed mashed bananas instead if you wanted to do a banana chocolate version of this. You'll need two ramekins um, for this recipe or you can double it to make four of course. And we're just going to lightly dust those with some caster sugar. And they're one cup ramekins. And then you can just pour away whatever you don't need. Okay, pop those to one side and we're going to grab our egg whites. I've got three egg whites here which I've separated. They're at room temperature and it's really important that they're really fresh and of course free range ones of course will make you nice better eggs because they're nice and light and soft. Okay so we're just going to beat these to a soft peak. Okay, so once you can see that you've got your little soft peaks there, it's time to start adding in the sugar and the cream of tartar. You just want to pinch your cream of tartar. And then what I'm doing is I'm using um, about four-fifths regular caster sugar and one-fifth um, sugar substitute um, just to lower the carbs and calories in it just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is turn the beater back on and slowly add this in and we'll try and get stiff peaks. Beautiful. If you can hold it upside down it doesn't fall out the bowl, then your peaks are stiff. Okay, so next bit's really simple. All we need to do is take the chocolate mixture here and gently fold that into your egg whites. Just as gently as possible. And you might even want to take the egg whites and put them back into that saucepan. Just make sure the saucepan's nice and cooled down. Just pop them back into the saucepan. That way we make sure that we get all that nice chocolate mixture. And just fold that through till it's entirely incorporated. Now I'm going to grab two ramekins here and just split the mixture between the two. And then just level those off a little bit. And pop them onto a baking tray just in case they overflow. 
I'm going to put those into the oven at about uh, 190, which is about 370 Fahrenheit for about uh, 12 to 15 minutes. Now you'll know they're done uh, when they've all puffed up and, well, they look like souffles, I guess. So we'll come back in a couple of minutes. Time's up and they puffed up nicely. So look at that. Go <sighs> sprinkle some icing sugar on and I've just made a stencil using this cookie cutter. And I'm just going to sprinkle the icing sugar over and then you'll be able to impress anyone. sort of worked anyway. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it. Um, really simple. Well, that sort of worked anyway. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, really simple and you know a great way to use egg whites it's not your boring egg white omelette you could really impress people with using different flavors and stuff like that so let's dig in and we'll have a taste Watch out, these are really hot but you got to serve them hot because otherwise they'll start to sink so you can see they're beautifully light and airy mmm well that chili's got a bit of a kick on the end of it but that's absolutely delicious Mm. Yeah, you can taste the chili and the cinnamon and everything kind of coming through. Depending on how spicy you like things, you might want to turn the chili down a little bit. I wouldn't turn it up anymore, but you can definitely get the sweetness and everything going on through there. So definitely a lovely ode to the humble egg white. Um, don't forget you can check out the recipe on healthyhelpingstv.com. My name's Michelle and I'll catch you next time. Thanks, see ya. You'll need the following ingredients, three and a half tablespoons or 16 grams of unsweetened cocoa, three teaspoons of instant coffee, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of chili powder, one quarter cup of water, three egg whites, a pinch of cream of tartar, three and a half tablespoons or 40 grams of caster sugar, two teaspoons of sugar substitute and icing sugar to garnish.